Since the discovery in the 19th century of one of the most famous fossils ever, Archaeopteryx, there's been speculation and research into dinosaurs with feathers. This week we publish a discovery of a small Jurassic critter by a team from the Chinese Academy of Sciences. Not only does it have feathers, it's got a carnival-style plume as well. All right, so tell us about this new discovery uh, whose name I'm struggling with somewhat, Epidexipteryx, I think it's called. Uh, You said it, Adam. I'm not even going to try. Uh, This creature was about the size of a pigeon and it lived around 160-ish million years ago. That's middle to late Jurassic or early Cretaceous in China. And it's a, a, a small, um, lightly built carnivorous dinosaur, although it doesn't seem to have many teeth. It's more like a, one of the oviraptor type dinosaurs. And it had all over its body a, a coating of this kind of furry proto feathers. But the remarkable thing is sticking out of its tail were four very long single feathers. So it had a kind of tuft on its tail of very, very long feathers, which were as long as the body. OK, so let's just talk about those feathers for a second. W- what are they for? Are they, are they sexual traits for attracting females, maybe? It's um, very, very hard to say. Um, plainly, they're not for flying because there's no other signs of flight feathers on this creature. And it could be for sexual display. So rather, rather like, potentially rather like uh, peacock feathers. Yeah, potentially. There are some fossil birds with long tail feathers a bit like this. There's one called Confucius Ornis, which is a proper bird, um, and that's distinguished by very, very long tail feathers like this. Um, So um, all these ancient dinosaurs and bird-like dinosaurs and dinosaur-like birds and really truly old birds went in for this sort of display plumage. And so this fits into uh, uh, an evolutionary lineage in which dinosaurs eventually lead to modern-day birds. Is that, is that the current thinking? The current thinking is this creature is um, as close as possible to the lineage of birds without actually being a bird. Of course, um, that is you know, subject to a great deal of revision. There's been a lot of work on the um, evolutionary relationships of birds and other dinosaurs that are kind of close to it, troodonts, dromaeosaurs and, and other things. So it's going to be some revision. But what interests me is that there was a lot of evolutionary experimentation with feathers and plumage and um, integument and uh, it shows that flying was just one thing they did with feathers. So, you know, even now, there are still feathered dinosaurs of new sorts coming out of China more than 10 years after the first one.